Hello everyone, this is Ishan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive. Now as you know how Arnold Renderer works, so in this lesson number 19, we will learn how to do photorealistic rendering using Arnold inside 3D Studio Max. Like a boss. Like a boss. Oh yes, I keep the bank rolling. Let's see how we can render a photorealistic scene using Arnold in 3D Studio Max. So we have this scene uh, over here and this does not have any kind of textures on it. So let's apply some textures and see how it will be in the end. So let's start first with this frame. Okay. So we have this frame in the Explorer. So we will apply a wooden texture on it. So I will press M on my keyboard to get the uh, the slate material over here where we can apply materials. So before working on the materials, let's turn on our Arnold. So we can go in the render setup and change the renderer from the scanline renderer to Arnold renderer. Once we do that, we'll close it and we will have the Arnold renderer. So here we will search for uh, the surface inside the surface we will see standard surface and we will drag the standard surface here now what we need is the base color and i need 100 percent result and what i want here to apply is the wooden texture so i will click here in the map and click on it go to the maps here bitmap okay and then I will go to my folder and I will search for the wooden texture here. So there is a wood texture here. You can see that. I will open it up. Okay. So well, I will have the wooden texture over here. And if I will double click here, it will maximize this um, view of the wood just to control the specularity. So specular level is too high. So what I will do, I will change the, I will keep the specular uh, high, which I think is fine and the roughness i will change it to maybe 0.5 okay so something like this so once i have a texture over here i want to add a bump with all also to give a certain height so we have studied about the bump in the last classes so where you will find bump is that you can type here bump okay on this uh this search bar and you will see this bump arnold appeared here okay uh actually where it is it is inside the maps okay and here if you will go you will go to the arnold inside the arnold you will see bump and we have 2d bump or a 3d bump so we will choose a 3d bump and drag it here okay inside that uh, this bump we have to add a bump height okay so we have here bump map we have here bump height okay so what we are going to do is that we can add a bump height here okay and go to the general and bitmap and then we will choose the bump height here and we will open it up so once we have this you can see that there is a texture appeared here and there is a bump applied here okay now whatever height you want uh, uh, the uh, by default it is one so which is fine now where we need to put it we have to put it inside the in uh, special features in the special features if you will see there is a bump uh, node over here so we want this to be appear in, uh, used as an input on this normal bump so simply you can click here drag it on this normal bump you can add a normal bump or a bump or whatever you want okay but in our case it is bump so I will drag it here. It will ask me, is it an instance of copy? So I will choose yes, instance, so that if I will change here, it will change as well over there. I will press OK, and you can see that it goes directly here. So now, if you want to change its uh, height or something, you can change from here. Suppose I want more, so I can type here uh, 10, something like that. Okay. Now, other than that, what I can do, I can drag this bump height to the bump map as well. So I can drag it here as an instance. So it will be inside the bump map also. This one also I can turn it 10. So I also have now bump height. Now I also have a bump map. So both are uh, over here. Okay. Now once you have this, I will. you can take your frame. 
Okay, you can find this exercise file in the description below. You can download from there. Now here you can right click and assign material to selection. Now once you will do that, you can notice there is a bump material on your frame. Let me make it uh, like maximize it, this viewport, the camera one. Once it is maximized, I can press P on my keyboard to go to the perspective viewport because it is in the camera. So I have to go in the perspective so that I can zoom it here. Now, simple, I will go in the modifier list and choose UV W map. Okay, once it is applied, I will choose box. So everything is fine. So let's see how it looks like on the side. Okay, on the side, it's a little bit stretched out. So I can do one thing here. I can increase any one of these, like suppose the width. So now I think it's fine. Okay, so now I'm, I'm good to go. Now, there is a glass over here in front of it so that we can have a reflection. So let's see how we can apply a glass material. Okay, now once we have this one, we can go back to our Arnold. Okay, let's close these and go in the Arnold surface and take the standard surface drag it here now inside the standard surface what we need to do here is that we have to go to the transmission okay so here we have a lot of different uh, options so inside the transmission we have to turn on the transmission of it but first before doing that we have I, I have to right click here assign to selection so we can see the result what is going on okay now, uh, here we have transmission. Now, there is nothing in the transmission. So, I can increase the general of the transmission here. So, it can become a little bit opaque. Okay. So, I guess one is fine. One means 100% transparency. And other than that, what we can do is we can add some kind of a thin wall uh, effect on it. Because we I don't want it to be a thicker uh glass so i will make it thinner okay after that you can see already here it have effect i can right click here it's already applied so but for the safe side i'll right click and assign again now i have this glass material on my um, like glass over here for the safe side i will turn it off i will turn it on when i'm rendering otherwise i cannot see the image which is behind it so I will turn it off. Now this image is basically, if I click here, it is down here, frame picture. So I need to go somewhere here, standard surface. Okay. Now one thing what I need here is the base color to increase it. Here I will click on it, bitmap. Okay. And choose this poster as a picture. And then right click here, assign this on here. Okay, and you can see that the picture is uh, the picture is already assigned. Okay, so now our frame is ready. So here, what I else I, I can do is that I have these all materials related to the frame. So I will call this view. I will right click here, rename this view, and call it frame. Okay, and then I can right click here and create a new view. And in this new view, I can type here uh, like a plant. So let's work on the plant now. So I have frame and I have plant. So this is how you can re uh, easily organize. You can have different views for different materials here. Let me minimize it. So let's go to the plant here. Now first, let's put some material on the pot. Okay. So I will create a very simple material for the pot here. Okay, I will click here. And then what I can do is that I can go inside the base color here. Turn this base color to a little slight, uh, you can say grayish. Okay, and increase the base color, uh, the weight of it to 100%. Specularity, I will give it something like 0.5. Okay, so less. This one I will give it 0.8. So it would look more like a plastic. 
I think 0.8 is too much. So maybe 0.5 would be enough. This is good. Okay. And let's make it more blackish. Okay. Not 100% black, but more darker, more darker gray. Now I will select this spot, right click here and assign. Now what I have is this bamboo. So for that, I will create a new one. Okay. Now in the bamboo, I will increase first of all the weight of the base color. Click here in the bitmap. I will go to the bitmap and choose this bamboo material. Okay. Once it is there, what I will do here is that I don't need any kind of specularity. So zero specularity. Okay. Because it's a bamboo. So I don't want any kind of specularity over here. You can right click here, assign it. And you will see there is the material here, but it need a UV map. So UVW map I will assign and I will choose cylindrical here with the cap on. Okay. This is now fine. Now, how we can apply leaf material on these planes? These are basically planes, as you can see, quadratic plane, like a in a quad form. Okay. So if I will move it around, you can see they are simple plane. So how to apply here the leaf material? So I will take this standard surface again, make it a little bigger, increase the base color of it. And also I will click here, go to bitmap. And once you are here, you can see there is a leaf uh, material. I have it, which is the leaf PNG file. I will open it up once it is opened. Okay, uh, I can change the specularity. It is too high. So maybe I can make it 0.7. Okay, and increase the roughness 0 0.5. Point, I think let's make it 0 0.7. 0 0.7 is fine. Now what I will do, I will take all these and assign this leaf material on all these uh, leaves here. So right click here, assign material to selection. And you can see that all of them have this material turned on. So if I will go here, let me minimize this. It's there, but they are not in quite right direction. So now I will deselect them and only select one leaf at a time. So I will select first this leaf, for example, and now I will apply UVW map okay on this one and then i can go to uh it's uh more like setting here okay first of all i will click on the fit okay and i will see which one is the best alignment i think z is the best alignment here and then i can go inside here in the uvw map and in the gizmo and I will rotate the gizmo so it will match here and then I can press fit again so it will fit okay and make sure you can move it a little bit backwards so it will match with the bamboo itself the stick something like this a little bit smaller you can make it Okay, not too small, not too big, something like this. Okay. That's all. Now, what I can do is that I can copy this UVW map and paste on these as an instance. So they will all have the same uh, like UVW mapping on them. So reason I'm not doing this uh, at the same time, like uh, this one have already, uh, let me leave. the reason I'm not doing this uh, at the same time, because if I will apply them at the same time, what will happen? It will count all these as one object. So I don't want that. I want them to uh, paste one by one. So they will be counted as individual objects instead of a one object. Okay. 
So they all are here now. So now they are counted as an individual instead as an one, uh, as a one object. Okay. Now what we need to do here is that it's kind of look like weird. The reason why I'm saying is that because you can see that there is a black patch around it. They, that, uh, like they does not look like uh, they are individual leaf hanging or sticking out from the bamboo stick. So what we will do here is that we'll go back here. Okay. And then inside the leaf material inside the, uh, advanced fe uh, special features we have opacity cut out i will click here bitmap and i have the same opacity map and i will apply here just like what we did in the last uh, class about this when we were applying the stars so here what it will do is that it will take the leaf and put the leaf inside this opacity map okay so i will press open and it will be applied you can see here Okay, and at this stage, it will not show, it will be appeared inside the, when we will be doing the rendering. Okay, so we are done with this part and I'll get to create a new one. Okay, and I will call this lamp. Okay, now here, uh, I will add a standard surface. Okay, and I will make it a slight grayish base color 100% here and now what I will do here is that I will increase the metalness so it will kind of look like it is a metal so this one I will apply on here on these three things right click assign material and it's there now about these two i want them as a light mesh so what i will do is that i will apply the material on them later on as a light mesh okay so for now we will make a new one create a new call it wall and floor so here first i will create a standard material surface for the floor okay so I will increase the base color here click on here bitmap and then i have a floor tiles here so i will choose the floor tile open it up okay and then what i will do here is that first of all i don't want it to be too glossy so i will reduce it to 0.5 the specular level okay and roughness i will increase it to maybe 0.6 okay so this is fine now i can take this apply on it assign a material on this one it's quite big so what i will do here is that i will go to the uvw map okay and then i will in decrease this one so it will look kind of like a uh, tiles too small if you don't want so you can make it a little bigger i don't want it to be too small i'll make it a little bigger something like this now i'm fine with this now what i will do is that i will now we also have a normal map okay which is like a bump map but it uses your light direction to create a height effect okay so you can take the normal map from the bump apply it here Inside here in, uh, you have different kind of uh, like settings. We have normal. So inside the normal, I will click on the no map. So I can get this bitmap. Okay. And then I can choose this floor tiles. Open it up. Okay. And then I can go here in my material. I can go in the special feature. And here we have normal. I will click and drag here okay and leave it here choose instance and it will be there now i have a bump here if you want you can increase the height of it like strength okay right now it is one maybe if you want more two or something you can increase the strength of it okay 
so it will be applied now what else we can do here is that i can go and create a new arnold uh, surface for the wall okay i will increase the base color go inside the slot for the uh, bitmap then choose the bitmap then here i have red brick and here i have the image for the red brick so i will take this image for the red brick okay so after that what i need to do is that i have to completely uh, lower it down so 0.3 something like that and this one i will increase it more 0.5 something like this maybe 0.6 will be better now i can apply that here on the back and i can apply here uvw map and reduce this So, where you are satisfied, how big you want it to be. So, I can stop there. I think this is enough. So, this is good. Okay. So, now, automatically you can see I have this map on my uh, chair. Okay. The reason is that because if you remember uh, when if we were working in the last class, the same uh, like a material we applied is now applied over here this is the same so far we were working in the last uh, class so now i will right click here create a new and call this new sofa and now i can pick this map from here and i will i will have it here you can see that okay but I don't want this scanline material, I want the actual material. So what I will do, I will delete this one from here, create a standard material, okay. The weight, I will increase it more, I will click here, bitmap, and then I will go out here and search for my texture. This is the texture I want, I will use this texture, open it up, it will be there. The specularity it's too high i don't want any specularity as this is a sofa so zero specularity so when there is no specularity there is no reason to change the roughness so i will keep it as it is right here now i want some bump over here so i can go inside the map okay so for the bump i will go and drag the bump 3d i will go in the bump height choose the pit map here I have the bump of the sofa and also I will drag it to the bump map so both will be same as an instance I will change this to maybe 10 both of them 10 10 and then I will go here on my actual material then I will search for the special features and drag this one to the normal bump here instance now I have it ready now what I will do is that I will take all these and assign it so automatically it have it now this material okay so now what we will do we will work on the wooden texture here i will go a little bit here select uh, these okay what i will do here is that i will create a new standard surface or I can go back to frame and instead of making new I can take this one the same for the frame we were using we can I can assign that one here I click and assign so now I can go back to sofa so this is how we can save time so now everything here is ready now we are about to add light here so what I will do, I will just close this one and then I can go in the light. So I will go in the create, in the lights, in the, in the lights I will go in the Arnold, take the Arnold light and add the light somewhere here. Let me bring the light closer. So I have this one light, okay. So let's make a copy of this. I have now two lights and both are copy not instance. 
So this first light, I will go to the first light, I will go inside the Arnold uh, renderer, like the modify panel here. And let's see how the scene looks like if I render it right now. So, you can see that it's all black, okay. So, because it's still rendering, let's do one thing. Let's make the scene a little smaller. I'll go in the render setup. Here, I will go to custom, make it quite smaller so I can see at least the scene. Let's bring these lights here more in the front side, okay, because they are quite far away, that's why it's not showing. So, these lights, let's see, they're like properties. Uh, these are point lights, okay, I turn them into point. And then the intensity is as it is like one is the intensity exposure is eight. The same thing is with this one. Intensity is one and exposure is eight. Same thing here. It is point light. Let's let's see how the uh, render looks like. Okay. So you can see that they are quite uh, the scene is quite darker. Okay. Let me change the size to bigger and also. Let's do one thing. Let's increase the intensity to three. Okay. And now let's try it and see. Okay. Now you can see it's getting better. So here are the two lights. It's kind of better. Now what I want to do is that instead of creating this as a light source, okay, I want these to have the light source. Simple what I will do, I will take this light, the type instead of point, I will choose mesh. And then I will click this none and choose this mesh. Okay, so you can see it is now sphere one. So this light source will be here now. Now what else I can do is that I can take this one, do the same thing here, mesh and then choose this. Now let's see how the render will look like, okay. So now you can see the light source is coming from here, okay. So now as the light source are coming from here, which I think is fine at this stage. So let me close this, this one as well and go back to the material editor and lamp and here I will uh, make one more standard surface increase the base okay make it uh, white as I think is fine now what I will do is that I will go down here in the emission inside the emission I will change its color to a little bit yellowish okay something like light yellow And then change its emission. I will increase the emission to let's see uh, three. Okay. And I will take this sphere, assign this to here, take this one, assign here, this one. Okay. Now, if I will render, so it will look more believable as it will. Uh, it will be emitting from this source okay so now you can see it looks more uh, believable here but i think three is too much so what i can do here is that let me cancel this one okay and then close this close this here what i can do is that i can turn on the uh, active shading using Arnold here so i can see the result directly here okay so i can go in my material okay and instead of having emission quite uh, high okay i can change it to one okay so and then let me check okay i think one is enough so we are good to go now so what i can do here is that let me minimize this okay 
and go back to the standard turn this off okay now we will add another light here on a light in the middle okay and this light type we will change it to sky dome or you can say here a dome light okay when i would change it here so it will become something like this and then what i need is that i need to apply a hdri file on this now the sky dome light usually works with the real uh, world map so actually our scene is quite smaller it is smaller than the real world so that means this value which we have right now the intensity 1 and 8 will be too harsh for our scene for example if i will show you here now if i will render it at this stage okay so you can see that it's too bright and i cannot see anything right now so what i need to do is that i have to go back here okay cancel this and make it point one both of them the exposure and the intensity and then try to render it and we'll see okay so now you can see it's quite good i can see uh things around it and the quality as well is good okay uh but i don't want this as a sky dome white color only what i want i want an hdi texture just like what we did in the last scan line class where we applied the hdri to have a realistic result so simply what you will do is that you will go in the texture click on it go to the map okay bitmap and choose the hdri so i have this hdri here so i will choose this one and press open once i will press open i can press ok over here and now we have to set it up its location so what we need to do we have to go to the rendering environment and drag this to none here in the environment and you can see we have it here in the, our environment so if i will uh, rotate around so you can see the light source is right in front of me okay which actually i don't want so what i can do is that i can change the i could take this whole uh, scene okay let me turn on the glass as well from here so the glass is also selected the whole thing okay make sure your uh, selection or or the the coordinate mode is world otherwise what will happen they will move everything uh, everything will move on its own i don't want that i want to move it a little bit like this so now uh something like you can see that light is here so i don't want it to fall directly on it now it's not directly falling on it so i think it's fine now okay so the scene will be not too bright now what i will do is that let's render and see how the scene looks like because when you catch the hdri light in your scene it looks more realistic so if i'll press render okay and let's see so now it's quite looks uh, realistic we have some realistic result over here so let's go to the camera mode again just to set up few more things okay let me close all this I will press C on my keyboard. So C will bring the camera view on my scene. So now it is cam uh, camera. Okay. Now let's see how it will look like when we will render. So this is camera already. Rendering start. Okay. So, so this is what we got the result with the default rendering setup. And what we can do is that I can change the you can say the intensity of uh, these lights okay so i'll close this one from here okay let's go back to the perspective viewport but before doing that i will turn on the my active shading here okay press p here so i can see the changes okay so i will take this okay the light and i will change the exposure or maybe you can say intensity 
5 okay and exposure maybe I can make it 12 I think 12 is too high so let's try 10 10 is I think good or how about 9 9 is also good so same thing I will do with this light I will take this one okay uh, change this one to 5 and 9 and other thing what I can do here is that I can change the color I can change this color to yellowish okay so I can change the color to yellow something like this and also I can right click over here copy this okay and go to this light and paste it here as well okay so let me try again here okay for this one i think uh, what is the value i have placed it's nine but nine doesn't look that good maybe 10 or 12 or 11 so I think 11 is good for the for this light and for this one I think 9 is good enough so this is what we have it on our scene okay now if I zoom it here you can see the wall it does not have any kind of pump we can add one more thing which is displacement what does the displacement do as much number of polygons you have on your uh, object okay like so suppose here you can see it's a very high number of polygons so it will give a very realistic high definition height to it okay so how we can apply the displacement to apply the displacement we have to use the ornal properties not the materials okay once your uv is set up everything is fine like we have already done here so what we can do is that we can uh, bake this UV map to the plane by right clicking here and then collapse all and then you can press yes so we don't have any uh, any issue later on now I can go here in the modify list and I will choose the Arnold properties inside the Arnold properties you will see all these properties and there we have displacement okay we also have subdivision so when you render so there will be another subdivision level on it so we can do one thing i can turn on the subdivision enable it okay and use uh, here techno clark the type the algorithm here okay and rest everything i will keep it as it is iteration i can change it to two not too high otherwise it will take a lot of time to render now i'll go to displacement and turn on the displacement now it will ask you the file as a displacement the file looks kind of like a buff map but it is a more high definition so I will go in the no map here click on it click on the bitmap and then I will go in my red brick folder where I have this uh, file which is a displacement file okay it says red brick displacement 4k I will open this up okay uh, maybe let's increase the height of it to five just to see how is the result and then i will go in the render setup and see how the rendering uh, result is so i will turn on the rendering result okay and let's wait and you can see that it have now a good height okay before it was flat now it have a good height to see uh, the result more clearly what we can do here is that uh, let me cancel this let me increase the height to more maybe I can increase it to uh, 50 or something like that okay and then try to render it So you can see now it become it is becoming harsher and harsher okay so as much you will increase you will have more height to it okay now one more thing here we have is let me close all these if you notice here it's written zero 
the, re the reason it says 0 is that if you will, uh, it by default it is 0, but what is this 0? So if you will see our uh, map here, let me show you the, so you can see that it is quite a huge map where you can see some dark line, uh, like darker part and lighter part here, but it's quite grayed out. So this gray part have a bit value of 0 0.5, not 0. If this was black, so it would be 0. So what we need to do at this stage is that to make it more perfect because black, as you know, goes inwards and white comes out. So to make it look more black and white, we have to go in this zero value and subtract that 0 0.5 mid, uh, mid uh, gray value. So I will type here minus 0 0.5. And if I will increase this more, let's increase it more so you can see the result more clearly, like 200. So now let's see how it will be the result because first of all, the height is too much. I increased it a lot, like 200. And the zero is now minus 0 0.5. So there is no mid gray value. Okay. So let's see how the result will look like. So let me render it. Okay. Now you can see only the wall. Why? These things are not hidden. Actually, the wall has too much height that it reached outwards okay so that means 200 value is too much so what we can do here is that instead of this much value maybe i will write here 10 and then turn it on okay now i guess it is fine so you can see that uh, but still you can see the like 10 it is also going through the frame so this is also a little bit high okay so maybe instead of 10 let's keep it quite low maybe 5 and then let's see now i think 5 is enough 5 is good okay so we will keep it 5 so the height value 5 uh, 0 is minus 0 0.5 and you can see the displacement. Uh, I have checked this and using this map. Okay, so this is how you can uh, do that. One more thing I can do here is that I have some other material like these so far. Okay, let me add here as well. Okay, so I can go to my first of all. Let me uh, bake all these collapse all. Yes, I will do this for this one also collapse all this one also collapse all okay and let's do for the plane as well collapse all now i will go to and take this and then i will choose the arnold properties enable my displacement enable the use map then go to the no map choose bitmap and i will go out and here i have displacement for the sofa you must have the displacement material with you otherwise there is no use of adding the material now you can see the black is already there so i don't have to change my zero zero is where you have the mid value which is gray okay but for this case i don't have to change it we'll press okay then the height is one let's see what will we will get with this one i will copy this okay before copying this what i can do I can go to the subdivision level, turn it on, give the subdivision iteration 2. So I will have more, as much subdivision you will have, your result will look more uh, better. So I will copy this, go here, paste this here. Instead of instance, I will just paste it normally. Paste it here. And now let's zoom in just to see the result here, how it will look like. So you can see it is rendering now. Let's rend let's uh, keep it. So you can see a very nice value it ha uh, it have now. But from here you can see it is too high that it is coming off the material. So we can reduce it from instead of one we can make it 0.5. Okay, but it's good to go. 
I can go in these values okay of displacement and turn all of them to 0.5 okay once we are done so I will do the same thing with the plane go here and in the Arnold properties okay first of all I will apply this no map then I will go in the bitmap then I will go here uh, to my uh, floor tiles and let's see where is the displacement okay this is basically roughness this is the displacement I will take the displacement again this is have the mid value point or uh, like uh, 0.5 so I will take this one and make it 0.5 height I will increase it to 5 because if you have a grayish material with mid value so you have to increase the value a little bit more okay now let's see let's zoom in more and move this here so we can see how the result will be okay so it's rendering so once you can see it is rendered it's going to go back okay now you can see that here the value is too high that it is crossing this uh, what you call my uh, leg of the sofa so what I can do is that I can cancel this one here and make this minus one the zero and this one I will keep it maybe 1.5 and then render and see how it will be the value here So now I think it's better and you can see that it's getting some height as well. So I think we are good with the plane also. So let me cancel this and press C here for the camera and now rent, let's render the whole scene. But before rendering I will go in the setup and make it a little bigger so I have a good uh, size of it. So let's let it render and then I'll come back. So now as you can see the result is quite good okay uh, as much you will work on it as much you will practice on it you will get more and more like better results okay one thing for the floor I have changed here is that I have uh, uh, turned the zero to zero actual the height is one okay other things as it is I have not uh, changed anything here uh, just only I added a subdivision level to two and this is what result I got it so I hope you have learned from this lesson if you like this lesson please hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it and click on the bell icon so you can get the notification because I will be uploading a lot of good tutorials uh, like later on and thanks a lot for supporting me and helping me to reach this level and I really hope for more support from you all and let's see uh, in the next class and let's move towards the end of the 3D Studio Max like, uh, like its animation which I hope will be the last part of this series of 3D Studio Max uh, 2021 Essentials. So guys take care and thanks a lot once again and see you in the next class.